Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have quite a bit of new news to go and talk about over here. We'll probably actually have a chance to go and talk about quite a few of this stuff as of tomorrow too as well. So this is going to be um, a little bit of a combination too of brand new information going on. I do believe another walk-in event going on tomorrow. And as well, we'll also go and do a little combination of what happened today and the kind of weekly news too as well for everything that happened throughout the week. So we'll start off with the new stuff and the good stuff. And then we'll go into some of the nice little casual stuff right after. I usually do these a little bit later on throughout the night, but I figured might as well go and chill on out. Let's get it done right now, because I don't think we'll be having any of these really random and sneaky random drops right before. Also, I do want to put on my... Well, hopefully that looks a little bit nicer. What's up? So, we actually do have a little bit of brand new news coming out, which is kind of surprising over here. We're going to talk about why it's surprising, what's going on, and all that good stuff. And as well... Hi, we had a pretty eventful day, I'd say, overall, too, on top of that. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. We have the Amazon links down below. We do keep on also mentioning this quite a bit. I really want you guys to go check it out, because it is a good deal on the brand new Samsung deals. We do keep on mentioning this up, too, as well. So make sure you guys go use that Howl link down below, next to the Twitter, next to the Twitch, and all that stuff, where it does actually have their biggest reserve event ever over here. So in regards to Samsung, with their Samsung phones, Samsung Galaxies, the Beats, all that stuff, there's no, no obligation, no, you don't have to sign up for anything, you don't have to spend any money, you don't have to do whatever, just go give up the nice little uh, names and all that stuff with the link down below, and make it super nice and easy and chill. As well, subscribe to the PS5 giveaway, Twitter, Twitch, all that good stuff as well, and I appreciate y'all so much for watching. So we actually got some kind of interesting stuff over here from my homie Keith, actually, who's been, uh, you actually might even see this video itself, but he's been floating around the restock home, he's helping people out too as well. So this is some intriguing information coming out too. I just saw this after I just finished up my nice little Dallas work day here, where this does actually seem like it seems pretty much confirmed, because they've also been flo seeing this floating around from some other people too on top of this, but this is the first person I saw, so i got to give some love and some credit for where it has, you know, where it's due. But we do have now a confirmed walk-in event as of officially tomorrow on 07 23 22 so this should be ongoing tomorrow so you guys might see another video tomorrow as well for just talk about some details and all that type of stuff uh but that will just be more in the day-to-day -day. so for this i'm going to show my homie over here where has a nice little tweet saying more hashtag ps5 bundles are now on the way from gamestop <coughs> so, they will be available in stores tomorrow, as of Saturday, 07 23 They'll be adding a tweet for this one, too, as well. When they find out the bundles, we actually do have those over here from Hose, who also both of you homies are a part of this. So, if either one of you guys see this, hit me on up, send me a tweet or whatever, because shout out to you guys for helping out the homies and the gaming community, where they actually do have a chance now to see what the picture bundles will be in stores on 723 from the official GameStop side. It seems like over there, we'll start everything's looking and seeming and vibe and pretty good now obviously uh we'll get to the bundles in a second but it does seem because we had a normal best buy drop as in no total tech no another stuff which we'll talk about in a second which is kind of the rarity uh it sinks though because i was just in the middle of doing stuff so i didn't have the best best timing for the tweet i think a few folks had a chance though for my twitter a post as well uh we did also mention that too that stores were stockpiling so anyone who was watching the earlier day-to-day -day video probably knew but with this we also have a here jose who had a chance to go and send out this link stating this is what their friends sent them they work over at GameStop. so i'm gonna give you guys a nice quick little heads on up and uh as always it's always nice to see other folks out there still helping folks on out getting some information out there and giving people some good old details so this is the original PlayStation 5 console. That there are apparently three primary bundles, which include the following. And uh, as you guys have probably been seeing, we do kind of see uh, GameStop kind of doing mixtures of various things. This isn't really that bad of a bundle either. So bundle number one, you probably all, the pre-note, you probably will have to be a GameStop Power Up Rewards Pro member. So keep that in mind. Uh, they usually almost, like, I hate that because it's bundle plus that, but, you know, some people just don't have the time to refresh Best Buy, get lucky with PS Directs, oh, uh, they just want to, don't want to wait, whatever it may be, dude, they, they, they do eventually sell out, so there's definitely a market for it, so keep it in mind. Uh, but bundle number one, PlayStation 5 Normal Disc Edition Console. You get your secondary controller, so this would give you two controllers total. This is, like, not your main bundle, just a secondary one of your color of choice. So that's, like, purple, you know, the the blue, the black, whatever. Obviously, the blue and black are probably the best ones. Elden Ring. I have been seeing it going on sale a little bit. Like, I've seen a few 30 40 I think 40 dollar price ranges so i mean you get like a little bit of a cut uh the game is great though like generally this game is fantastic phenomenal worth playing 
I'm saying. And as well, you get a $75 GameStop gift card. Ugh, like, it's that's why we just kind of sass GameStop, because when it comes to the price points with that, $75... Like, you give us, like, you give it 70 it'd be so nice, because you do $60 for a game, and then maybe buy, like, a side Funko, I don't know, whatever you may do. Uh, 75 though, is such an awkward number, although don't forget, you guys can put that towards uh, everything. So you can do this for PlayStation Network cards, PS Plus cards, Xbox Game Pass cards, Xbox Store credit, I think, Nintendo credit, gift cards, like, it's not the world's worst. Uh, so, like, you can interchange that for, like, other stuff it as well. Maybe just buy a game when it comes out. If you're someone who doesn't mind and gets a disc edition, dude, go for it. It's not that bad. So, <laughs> at the end of the day, not too awful. We have bundle number two, which has the PlayStation 5 console. I do believe these are probably going to be normal consoles as well. Uh, disc editions. You have the extra secondary con uh, controller with the choice of color. You get the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. So, just the big difference on that one. I would say if I had to pick... Ratchet and Clank is a shorter game, still a good game. It's also been out or f out for a longer time. I'd probably go for an Elden Ring if you guys can. You get more value. My opinion, better game, longer game. I mean, maybe you have kids, maybe you want to do Ratchet and Clank, and you get the seventy-five dollar GameStop gift card too as well. So, pretty much same bundle, just different main game. And you get the bundle three. This is the going to be the PlayStation Five, probably disc edition console, with the Horizon bundle. So that's the $550 console, so the price point will be slightly higher up, but will be coming, obviously, with the Horizon. And then uh, I kind of hate that they're, like, this is kind of like a weirder one. They also do the DualSense controller, color of choice. You get Far Cry 6, which, I mean, of all random, I mean, it's not the world's worst game, but that game's definitely been on sale, plus Ubisoft Plus type style game, and then the GameStop gift card. If I really had to say, this one's probably not too, too bad. Uh, if I had to pick one, I'd probably do this. This is kind of like if you if you know you're going to be playing with some friends, not the world's worst vibe. You know, it's why not? Why not? Uh, overall, this is pretty much it. They also do have the digital bundle consoles, too, which you guys are probably curious on that one. This would be the PlayStation 5 Digital Edition with the Horizon. So, 450. You get the extra controller as well. You get the uh, PlayStation Store DCS. I have no idea what that is. I'll be honest with you, for 30 bucks, And you also get the PlayStation Plus tier at $60 value. So, this is also, I, I, if I had a pick, usually digitals are lower stock, and I go for all of those other ones. So, not bad. And today we also did have a Best Buy drop too. Best Buy did do an actual open public drop. No total tech as well. So we also are going to still be seeing in stores. We did see a lot of in stores throughout this week. I uh, will cover up some of this stuff throughout probably tomorrow as well. So, <laughs> but that was kind of like, I think the big kicker for today is we've had throughout the week, we had a few PlayStation directs, which I would say good vibes, good flow, liked them, loved them, and people got a lot of invites. We did sadly never see an open drop, though, which does make me sad. Like, I wasn't the biggest fan of that, and I feel like that could have went way better. And, well, just if it, it wasn't it wasn't the best. It wasn't the best. But a lot of folks did have some good success. They were open for a bunch of hours. The flow was going pretty good. We didn't really see too much on the Target side. Uh, Target has been kind of a little bit on the barren. We've been seeing rumors and the buildup happening. So some stores should be getting stock soon and re receiving stock or whatever soon. But everything else, it's been a bit on the drier side. Uh, Best Buy will probably throughout this weekend still be getting more in-store stock too. So we'll remind you guys and keep you guys up with that. Although the stock might be slightly lower. We'll talk about a lot of stuff tomorrow, but it should be probably slightly lower uh, when it comes to that because they did the online drop too as well. On top of that, too, Walmart did not go and do any restocks, which was very surprising. I'd probably say the likelihood of them doing a restock tomorrow, like on next week, is almost so high. Like I'd be, if all these other retailers are getting stock, why isn't Walmart? So uh, that'll probably be a high up like look we'll be watching for. When it comes to uh, also the mid tier places, we only saw Ant Online go do a proper PlayStation Five drop, which was okay like it wasn't the world's worst and we didn't really see too much of all the other places now uh, we didn't see bj's and we'll maybe be watching to see if they do any in stores as well likelihood will be pretty high uh they did do an online drop but myers fred myers kroger's smith's all these other locations military military walk-ins belks etc were very dry we did also did have the random wildcard verizon one which did go pretty good 
And as well, we'll keep on watching throughout this weekend to see more drops for all of you lovely folks. But big reminder, keep on checking on the Howl link down below for the Samsung free $200 promotion going on down below. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. We got the Weeble down below. We got the Amazon signups down below. We did have a few of those sent on out finally. Still waiting for a few more. And I think we should probably have a pretty good weekend. We'll definitely have a lot more videos. I may be back in my apartment if you guys see me on a few, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. Howl links as well. And uh, we'll have one more video all throughout the rest of tonight.